shine. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Dexter. Morning to you. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Tough? You got it, asshole. See that little girl over there everybody's so fond of? Well, my scientists tell me that this is what rips her up. Look at her now. We get a little kitten. Ow! Mr. Dexter, fuck off! <laughs> you running here, Clive? Oh, hell, that ain't mine. Jesus Christ, you... That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck. You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business. I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. I want my boy back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet, have I? Alrighty, well, Hitman Absolution. Welcome back, Operation Sledgehammer. Operation Sledgehammer. I'm Octo. This is Lou. And I just broke free of handcuffs, because that's just how easy it is. And well, you're the, you're the Hitman. Yeah, let's activate the fire alarm, which is conveniently placed, and then go back to hiding. Gotta escape this jail and go kill Skirky, man. Gotta find out where Victoria is. Well, I mean, or where they took her. We're almost done this game. Almost. We got three more missions after this? Yeah, I think so. God damn it. It's How do you feel about Blackwater Park? I'm on it. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy you're playing Blackwater Park. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel about Blackwater Park. <laughs> I'm happy you're doing the rooftops. Ugh. <laughs> it's like every mission's fantastic, and then you get to like the last four, and there's two of them that are just like, uh Yeah, it's true. The top of Blackwater Park is fine. It's like the first half of that mission that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Power cord. Yep. That's my garage. First aid right Stay there. Oh. There you go. You never know. You never know. Sometimes you like uh, good old gun fights. Yep, I, I do too. So, have you played any Hitman other than this game? Um, I played the one before this. Blood Money. Blood Money, just uh, for a little bit. But it didn't really uh, stick the way this game did to, yeah, this, for me. Yeah, this game is... It, it I feel like it's a reboot for the series, because the mechanics have completely changed. Yeah. The way of sneaking and whatnot. Would you say it's kind of like what they did with Tomb Raider? The new... Yeah. Yeah. I would also say it's kind of like Splinter Cell. Where they went from really hard stealth to more streamlined stealth, which I'm totally okay with. Yeah. Um. Oh, that was close. This guy needs to walk away. Yes, he does. Because those are your silver ballers. Right those there. are my silver ballers. And you could actually just walk right out of here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Not going for the evidence on this one, so. Alright, so that was interesting. Yes, it was. So. Alright, the streets. 
Yes. So what we're going to do is kind of like Gold Knight, <laughs> except not quite as annoying. It's true. That mission, man, haunted my nightmares. The frame rate when you were in the tank went to like six per minute. <laughs> uh, not great. Uh, we didn't know any different back then. No, we didn't. But we know different now. Yeah, we so, do. So, I mean... When was the last time... Oh, uh, no, we, we talked about this before. The last time you played GoldenEye. It was at your bachelor party, right? Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was... I hadn't played it uh, for a long time, and then I played it at your bachelor party. Forgot how bad the frame rate was, not gonna lie. But it was still fun. So if they came out with the same graphics and everything, but faster frame rate, you'd be okay with that? It'd be way better, yeah. Yeah. I'd want more of, like, what they did to Perfect Dark. Yeah. You know I mean, where they, they made the HD remake. I really appreciated Perfect Dark, uh, but I really liked the Bond story. Yeah. Of GoldenEye. Well, I mean, they wanted to do GoldenEye. They just... Like, Rare couldn't get the rights to it because it was owned by Nintendo, right? So... Yeah. Nintendo could remake... I should get that checkpoint. Nintendo could remake GoldenEye if they wanted to. Ah, I'm just worried about how it would turn out because there's been so many... Attempted remakes. Yeah, and they all fail. They all fail, yeah. So, that that team who did Goldeneye, the original team, yeah. is not even together anymore. No. Uh, one of the only people, I don't even think Ken Whoa. Bob is there. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Ken, yeah, fine. Ken Lobb. Yeah, uh, Ken Lobb isn't there anymore, I don't think at least. That's where the uh, club came from. Yep. Uh, I don't think... The composer's still there, either. I'm blanking on his name right now. Grant Kirko. He's not there anymore. Ah. You know, I... Like, just recently, I found out how many N64 games Rare did. They did a lot of good ones. Yeah, they did. They, that was, like, the... Yeah, that they, was just they made their it year. big time. Yeah, their, their decade, I would say. Look, they did a whole bunch of good stuff on the, uh, the SNES, too. They did, uh, like, Donkey Kong Country. That was all, all them. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Then they, uh, they did Diddy Kong Racing. They did Goldeneye. They did uh, Congress Bad Fur Fur Day. They did Jet Force Gemini. They did uh, Donkey Kong sixty four. They did um, Banjo Kazooie. They did like so many good games. Huge, huge titles. Yeah. Man, Banjo Kazooie, man, that I that took over my life as a yeah. kid. I loved that game. Too bad Nuts and Bolts sucked. Yeah, why? Was it made by somebody else, or what? It was made by Rare, but it wasn't the same Rare, and they didn't want it to be a platformer anymore. Like, I'd, someone told them to not make it a platformer. Uh, it was, a, like, a racing game, but it's weird. You'd have to play it. It's not good. I don't recommend playing it. So what you're saying now is it's rare that they make a good game? Yes. Uh, that's too bad, because they uh, really had the market there for a while. Yeah, they did. Now I would say it's Ubisoft uh, is a big one. Ubisoft's pretty big. Activision's pretty big. Um, EA, like the 2K, is, is pretty big. EA's pretty big, but I mean, EA is a whole bunch of different studios under one name, right? Yeah. Same with 2K. Ubisoft has so much potential, but they can, like, I don't know. To me, they screw up every now and then. Like, yeah. uh, Assassin's Creed 3, they released basically unfinished. Yeah, they needed to was uh, really hold on to that a little Just a, like, a, like a month. Yeah. That's what happens, though, with commitments, right? You commit yeah. to having a game come out and then... Well, the same thing just happened recently with uh, DICE with Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 still doesn't work properly. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a game on a console crash? Like, crash and just free... Like, you know when you freeze your Xbox? Yeah. When your Xbox freezes? That's the that's the uh, the game crashing, right? But Battlefield 4 on PS3 and Xbox 360, they crash so bad that you have to unplug your Xbox. That's how bad they crash it. Wow. On the Xbox One, they crash it back to the main menu on... Uh, like, they crash back to the, the dashboard... On the PC, it's barely playable, and it's just like you could have held it for just like three months, but they had they had to uh, get it out for the new consoles. I remember when they did that; they they kept delaying a game. I think it was Splinter Cell or something. No, it was Ghost 
Ghost Recon Ghost Future Recon, Soldier. Future Soldier. They scrapped that game twice and restarted. Yeah, wasn't there one and they put the date, literally they put the date in a stone? Yeah. So that they, they wouldn't change it. They sent it to IGN. Yeah, yeah. So it was set in stone. Yeah. And that game ended up being really good, really underplayed. I really like it though. Yeah, I did too. Let's go ahead and just uh, kill Skurky here. Oh, there we go. Good shot. Who takes cover behind a priest? Now, for some reason, he's still alive. Still alive. And lacking a wound on his forehead. Uh, yes. I can't die in a church. Last time, where's Victoria? Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> So speaking of Blackwater Park, we have to do that. But you know, before we go there, I think we should uh, go get a new suit. Yeah, I think so too. Alrighty, well next time guys, we're gonna go get a new suit. See you guys then.